Donnie was probably the most influential writer in my life. He definitely taught me the way of the letter. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> he took graph into different directions. It can go almost anywhere. You know, it doesn't have to be traditionally this way. It can be a D here and a character there and it's balanced it's tri by its triangulation or it became geometric almost like Mike, how Michelangelo did his perspectives and his balancing of a composition. He thought his work out very well he just didn't put out work just to have sheer numbers and uh, that's what I respected about him. In the book of names Dandy means fun. Dandy was really cool I just remember hanging like a lot of different sessions a lot of scenes with him and of course, you know, it was Dandy that came to the rescue on Wild Style and actually doubles for Lee in, 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 in all the subway painting where it's supposed to be Lee's character, Zaro. It's actually Dandy doing the actual paintings, you know. And, uh, Even those whole cards, as great as they are, are just like not an appropriate representation of what he did. Dandy's thing, if you look, at his drawings. These are masterful, like, like well, like laid out forms of letters, you know, of wild style. And that's what he was best at. A lot of people don't know, like, that Dandy top the bottom with the hand. There's, there's a lot of writers that have done top the bottom and they have done it on a platform. On a platform. To get them letters to be straight and proportion where you want it. This man did it two feet away from the train. That is remarkable. That is, you cannot top that. I don't care if you're Picasso, I don't care who you are. You cannot top that. Because you can't see what you're doing until you see it running completely. Dandy had a more reserved personality. And he was almost like Lee in that sense, where he uh -huh. was more of a loner. You know what I mean? And I was the loud one always trying to get, no, let's have a party, man. Let's get everybody involved here. And he didn't like that. He's just very soft-spoken, never talked about himself too much. And he's, I really liked him right away. And uh, I owe a lot to him, you know, as he, he was one of the people who really got my dad's stuff up. 